Chicago, because it is a large city with the second largest job market in the country, offers a wide, wide variety of placement experiences. Because this is Chicago, the diversity is immense. You can work with almost any uh, group of people that you're interested in. Students come to Chicago Center because they want to work with particular populations, or they may come because they have a certain specialty and certain certification needs. The liberal arts is designed to prepare students to broaden their world, to be able to relate to populations that they may not have grown up with or experienced, to understand history, to understand the context of their world, more than just whatever has been available to them in their own experience wherever they grew up, or even went to college or went to school. What is radically different at the Chicago Center is that students are able to talk and interact directly with uh, the subjects that they're studying. So if they're studying gentrification in the city, they can go to a neighborhood after reading about gentrification and trying to understand what does the concept mean, they can travel to a neighborhood that's undergoing gentrification and kind of hear both sides of the story. So when they come back to the text that they've been reading or back to a discussion, they're not just dealing in the abstract. They're dealing with both the material and the content that they've learned about, let's say, gentrification, but they're also incorporating a certain emotional content into uh, the learning process which comes directly from what we call the first voice, those people who are most directly being impacted by the subject that they're studying. I chose to participate in the Chicago Center program because I really did want more of an urban experience and I was really done with being in classes. I had done it for a long time and I really was looking to do something else my last term and something that combined you know, experiential learning in a city with an internship was sort of ideal for me because just an internship you may or may not really get out into the city. You, you might just be going to and from work. I think when we're talking about internships at Chicago Center, the word support is very important because we don't take the experience away from students and place them into an internship. We support students from all majors in finding an internship that really combines their interests with their academic needs. The diverse organizations and companies that we have relationships with will allow you to contribute in significant and meaningful ways within a supportive work environment. From Holston Development, Streetwise Magazine, DuSable Museum and Free Street Theater, Chicago Center will help you find an internship that fits your unique academic requirements and your personal interests. I'm interning at the Michael Barlow Center, which is part of a larger group called St. Leonard's Ministries. Um, it's located on the near west side of Chicago, and it's in a neighborhood that's um, predominantly African American, fairly low income, but right now going through a pretty significant process of urban renewal. There's a lot of newer houses going up, um, so the neighborhood is changing really rapidly. So the Michael Barlow Center is education and employment services for adult ex-offenders um, that can be from anywhere in Chicago, but a lot of them are from this neighborhood. Um, and as a lot of them live in the St. Leonard's um, transitional housing that's located right around the center. Chicago Center has some real connections to people who are really making a difference all across the city, uh, the state, and the nation. I teach the Chicago Communities and Cultures seminar. In our seminar, we are exploring very contemporary issues in the city, many times issues that have not actually made textbooks yet because they're developing issues. And so when I'm designing my class, I'm really aware of those voices and those people in the city that are trying to impact what's happening to young people and the violence that they're experiencing. But I'm also really conscious of um, the different points of view and the different ways that violence is being looked at and who's being blamed and who's responsible. So when I'm choosing class resources, I'm going to take students right to, um, I guess you could say, right to the source. Living in Hyde Park, especially for people who are from smaller towns, is really nice because Hyde Park feels a lot like a small town. Um, even though it's just one neighborhood, there's restaurants and bookstores and coffee shops and it, you know you can really feel, I think, pretty grounded there and that you don't need to go out of it to get a lot of things. But that being said, you will want to leave Hyde Park and it's very easy to get downtown from there. It's really, I think it's located 
nicely. There's a lot of access to buses and trains from Hyde Park that can take you to other places in the city. I really enjoy the housing situation here in Chicago because it's cooperative and that is something that I that I think is just really fun um, to have to have this group of, of roommates. We cook family dinners, we go shopping together, we, we really spend a lot of time together um, talking about our different placements and the challenges that go along with them. And so it's become a really, a really good community and we often invite the people from downstairs up to have dinner with us and vice versa. And I think that really, for anybody who's struggling with the transition of coming to Chicago and maybe being away from, from home, like this is one really good way to feel like you have a community here. We went through a very detailed CTA orientation. This is one thing I was a little bit frightened about is navigating the entire city by myself. It's a really empowering experience actually. You go through this training and it explains the system to you and then you get the sense like, wow, I, I can go anywhere I want to and I'm not gonna get lost. I'm, you know, I'm totally fine. I'm constantly dealing with misconceptions of, of Chicago and Hyde Park when I go back home to Jacksonville, for example. But on the other hand, I recently read the Time Out Chicago article that said Hyde Park is among the safest neighborhoods in the country, urban neighborhoods in the country. I see Chicago different after being a Chicago Center student because, like I said, through the Chicago Center, I was, I was exposed to so much. It's different food, different, different, different people, different, different places, different plays, and everything that I wasn't exposed to when I was um, before I came to Chicago. It was like a new, new me, a new, a new situation. It was just, I don't know. It's just, it was, <laughs> it, changed, it changed me. After doing the Chicago Center, I just was like, whoa, the world is so big. In my world, I felt, I feel now that it was so small before I came here. The Center is the reason that I'm here today, not only living in the city, but um, doing what I'm doing. I mean, it's, it's super awesome. I'm glad I came. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. I would encourage anybody just to kind of go for it. And it's, it's great. You'll have a really, a really great experience. So it's going to be hard to leave, I think. I'm not exaggerating at all when I say that the Chicago Center changed my life. <laughs>